This was one of the first AI images created back in the day. And this is Nano Banana Pro that created a fully realistic image with all annotations and measurements and everything. Yes. We have come a long way. Officially called Gemini 3 Pro image, Google really created something out of this world. There's almost nothing it can do and it is free. So let's test it out with some of the coolest examples. And to kick things off, here is the first prompt. A technical infographic overlay on a realistic photograph of the Colosseum of Rome. The image should feature hand-drawn, right blueprint style lines, arrows and everything. And this is what we get. So this looks pretty great. Now, I don't know if those lines are completely correct with heights and everything, but for example, four stories, one, two, three, four, yeah, seems like four stories, perimeter, major axis. I mean, look at how good does that look like. Yeah. And then, for example, after that, I can just easily write, now do the same, but for the Golden Gate Bridge. And this is what we received. So main cable cross, everything is here. I mean, technical specification, the Golden Game Bridge suspension bridge. This looks great. I don't know again if everything is completely correct, but I'm amazed. Just a couple of months back, none of the AI image generators can create really great font and everything correctly like this. This is on the next level. Then let's try to transform a complex article or complex educational material into professor whiteboard images with diagrams, arrows, captions, everything. So this is basically the article, very complex one and not really visually pleasing. I will not bother you with that. And then what we received is this. So this is the image and whiteboard that was created by Google Nano Banana Pro in a matter of seconds. I don't understand it, but it's rather nice. And this is the second variation of image that it created. I mean, it's completely amazing. So then let's try to annotate all the bones in this X-ray in a teacher explaining students mode. So for example, using red color. And oh my God, we received this. Let's check the accuracy. So, okay, rib cage, ribs, ribs. That's, yeah. I'm not a medical student or a doctor, but yeah, this is clavicle, scapula. This is humerus. I know because I broke one two years ago and this is humerus and yeah, clavicle. It looks pretty, pretty good. So then let's use multiple images or different artifacts. So create a full body female person referencing all items in uploaded image. And this is what you received. She is wearing <laughs> all of those weird clothes. So, it's, you know, it is the sneakers. I don't know what is happening here and the uh, hoodie and then the everything is there. Yes, not very good fashion, but you know, it works. So then I write it. Can you now put her in these clothes? And it did. Here she is wearing kind of a German soldier outfit from 100 years ago. Interesting stuff. And by the way, now finally you can change aspect ratio of the image. So for example, just writing this in 69 and then it will recreate the image in 69. Finally, because previously that was not a possible. Then something completely different. So I need a detailed flow chart for how sausages are made. Make this as wacky and over the top as complicated as possible. Here is the final image. Look at how good does that look like. The grand unified theory of sausage, a wacky and overcomplicated odyssey. So what is happening here? I don't know where to start. Here we have trained octopuses, medieval rack. I mean, this looks very, very interesting. So it would look even more interesting if we put that into Google VO 3.1, like this. Haha, <laughs> yes, very good. Then let's try to translate historic artifact and recreate on the stone. So this is Bashanska Plocha, Bashka plate from Croatia, and it is written in prehistoric language, Glagolica, so very kind of not known. And this is what we got. So it's correct. So in Croatian, Ime Otsa i Sina Svetog Duhe, Ja Opa Držiha Pisah, very old prehistoric Croatian language. Very, very good. This is correct. Then let's combine two images and turning drawing into a real car. So we have this interesting drawing and we would like to turn that into a car, but so that the car style is like this car, for example. And this is what we received. So here we have Tesla Cybertruck, which is kind of a fluffy in pinkish color looks very very nice all of that just from uploaded images here now let's try an infographic that explains all components of a new and modern digital national payment system that could happen very soon oh my god look at what we received here so all the fonts is correct if i'm not mistaken yeah mobile wallets contactless cards qr codes payment scheme network issuer bank acquire bank tokenization end-to-end -end encryption oh my god 
Look at this, consumer pair, out of this world. Then let's try something cool, so create a fingertip map of this finger. Now, I don't know if this is completely correct, but it did something and it really looks pretty cool and pretty good. Now I cannot confirm, but it looks similar. I mean, all of those look similar. Here was the thinking mode, construction of the map. I'm currently working on converting the fingertip image into a comprehensive flat map, mapping the ridge line. So it obviously did a lot of thinking and it recreated this. Just imagine what will happen in a couple of years with these AI image generators and models. Now let's try something nostalgic and funny. So photo of the screen of old computer taken with iPhone. The computer screen has a screenshot display on the Microsoft Paint application with pink, all of that. And then put me, this is an image of myself wearing Tom Waits shirt in Miami and put me in a, as a 2D version in Microsoft Paint. This is what we receive. <laughs> it really looks nostalgic, vintage and Microsoft Pinky Pain, and here is my image and Tom Waits shirt. I like beautiful melodies telling me horrible things. Very nice. Now something more simpler, but it was very hard for AI image editors previously. So recreating this image, but on English. Now, I don't know Japanese, but I think it did a good job. Excuse me. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. My name is Desu. Please. Thank yes, I think it did a good job here. Now let's try to make a poster showing the stages of a person as they live their life, trying to achieve happiness through things and then through relationship and everything. And here is one very interesting poster. So journey to happiness, status accumulation. This is the first stage, things. The stage two is relationships, unconditional love, approval. Pretty good. Stage three, awakening, mindfulness, questioning narrative. Exactly, inner peace. Stage four, surrender, flow, acceptance, transcendence. Pretty, pretty good. And you notice I just made this simple prompt and it created the whole image and also attached the whole PDF of a book, Michal Shazelinsky, the flow book, sources. So pretty, pretty interesting. Now let's play with the cats. So based on one image of a cat, let's create a 10 model image explaining different types of breeds of cat. Here they are. And it's completely correct and interesting. So first the uploaded image. So British short hair. Then you have Maine Coon. Here is the Siamese. Version. All of those cute furry beings are here as a really educational poster. Extremely good. Then one very complicated prompt. So a modern clean flat lay diagram of the DNA double helix that constructed into its main component. And this is what we got. I mean, this is science ready for the for the schools, for faculties, for everything. Nucleotide bases, everything. Adenine, thiamine, cysteine, guanine. Nice. The constructed components. Look at all of the words. Uh, even the small text is correct. And finally, we received DNA double helix. Now, I'm not a chemist or, or genetics or anything like that, but this sounds and looks pretty good. So two complementary strains call around that central axis. Even this is correct. Amazing. Now a play with words. So we wanted to create a scene where the sentence, I'll try to read that. A quintessentially super expedition through the caligodoscopic milieu is constructed entirely out of the chucks of wood, carved and arranged by the woodchuck. This is what we got. <laughs> and I think everything is spelled out completely correct here. Quintessentially, I don't know, this super Yes, seems like a nice. And look at him here carving all the wood. Nice. And also I wanted to try, you know, creating a famous people popular personas. This will not work in Gemini apps. So realistic image of Bill Gates on Joe Rogan podcast. So it will not do that. Probably you could do that in Hicksfield or Artlist or anywhere else, but not here. And one thing I need to mention, you will hit the limit either on free version, either or plus version. I hit the limit after 30 generations. So for example, image of black cat, I don't know. And you will see now that it is not using image with Nano Banana Pro, but with Nano Banana. So the previous version of Nano Banana. Yeah. So I think those were really cool examples. Google Nano Banana Pro is out of this world. And I'm extremely happy that we have that. And I will test it out in next days for many, many different scenarios and examples. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great, great day. Bye bye.